Hello everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to Language Litigation and Integration Part 137, Casual Conversation 60. Uh, I went to the gym for the first time for about two or three weeks because all this moving stuff. So I could work out, feel pretty good. And the body weight's rock in between. Right when I wake up in the morning, like 175, 176 to about 181, 182 throughout the day. So again, still on my liquid diet breakfast, which I don't like, but I've now again, I've been drinking protein shakes my whole life, so after a week or two, it's just breakfast at this point, but can't eat too solid meals, I'm getting harassed every single day of my life. I get disrespected and interrogated, or intimidated, disrespected, and harassed in my own home by police officers, and then their, their, chief, their chief gang member, I mean their chief deputy chief, called me back the other day. So, <laughs> yeah, we got casual conversations, current events, and talking points, relevant and random stories, and Americans are worthless trash. Again, I'm offering $10 million to stop getting tortured. I'm currently stuck in Blacklick, Ohio. There's nothing I can do. There's nowhere I go. There's no one I can call. I'm going to be disrespected, inter in intimidated, harassed, and kicked out of the human species until someone enforces the law, and people literally can't. So again, I was furnishing my house. Might give you a little... At the end of this video, a little furnished house tour. It's mostly done for what I'm going to do with it. But again, the instant I get a big check or a time frame, this becomes a rental I'm out of here that day. But again, am I ever allowed to make choices for myself? No. Am I ever allowed to access the human species? No. Is there anybody that I ever helped or treated well throughout my life? Everyone to support my, support my research? No. Day one of access to court, I have everyone that has been referenced in this fucking series. There is no, there's no discussions. There's no lawyers talking to lawyers. It is just fuck you. If I can have a career and a family, neither can you. Friends and family, fucking first. It's disgusting. I'm literally living the most disgusting human experience ever because a bunch of immature babies can't grow up. That's what the fuck it is. And so I'm going into Best Buy yesterday. And again, I call these people. I literally say to them, please don't call me back. Here is my email. Please send me public record. But what happens? They're fat, old, worthless men. They get offended. They, and he, our conversation goes something to the effect of this. Chief Gilbert calls me up. And this, is, this is Clinton Township in Columbus, Ohio. And I'm, I'm demanding Robbins, Severance, Christian, Demons. I want, I want you guys kicked out of society in the same way that I am kicked out of society. Until you have cops disrespecting you on the first night of your first home, you've not paid your debt to me. You just, you just haven't. So I'm walking into Best Buy. And Chief Kilbert calls me and calls me and goes, Again, a literate fat piece of fucking shit, can't speak another fucking language, has never, can't sing, has never played a musical instrument, just picked up a gun, has some sort of identity, and thinks he's a good fucking person. He's not. He's just a pathetic fuck that doesn't want to get offended. And so again, this is after, after these people have harassed me, proof of ownership, title, all of my bills within three minutes of cops that get into my house, then commenting on weed, commenting on alcohol, not even helping me with my fucking security system, disrespecting me, and then driving past my house. And yelling out the window, stop calling our bosses asking for public record. I, I just understand. I hope you fucking worthless pieces of shit realize how fucked you are. I don't have access to court. It's hilarious how many people think, again, they think I'm just, no, now no, I'm a 20, 29, which isn't fucking young. I don't, consider myself, I don't consider myself old. I don't consider myself 29 young in any fucking way. I'm 29 in a month. <laughs> but now, again, I can guarantee the guys when they first showed up to they were like, oh, he's a breaking and entering. This guy can't own a house. And again, 21 is not, 29 is not young. But I'm sure they don't own their own. They've been working off their mortgage because they're privileged. They can get a job and participate in the human species. They can find a spouse. They can find a career. They can find a group of people that treat them with some sort of respect. I fucking can't. So Chief Kilbert, I pick up the phone. I go, hey, hello, this is Brad. Is this Mr. Bohas? It's Bohus. This would be the pronunciation. But Bohus would be the, the, the shitty American pronunciation. <laughs> but I go, yep. Yeah. And he, again, he can, can barely stutter words out of his fucking flappy mouth. And he's like, oh, uh, you left some uh, a rather vulgar uh, voicemails with my assistant. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I have a right to free speech. I don't apologize for that. And this, this is the replay of the conversation. And he's like, well, we want to be treated with decency and respect. You harassed me in my home, you intimidated me in my home, you disrespected me in my home, and then you had your, your, chief, your chief gang member, I mean chief uh, law enforcement officer, Gilbert, call me and harass me again. It's the sentiment of the group. Wow, Brad left voicemails. And again, I, was, I think the voicemails are something to the flat effect of, hey, Caitlin, you can never stop flicking your pussy and sucking Chief Gilbert's dick. Which again, that's, that's, that's trash talk for any normal human being that has ever existed fucking ever ever at any point in time. But these are law enforcement officers. They get offended and they're going to assert any authority over me that they can, which is basically everything. They can fucking shoot me. And so he's like, you left some vulgar messages and we just want to be treated with decency and respect. To which I said, same. This was after you harassed me in, in, my, in my home. So again, disrespecting another man in his home is more disrespectful 
or is less disrespectful than leaving a, 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 a trash talking voicemail because of it. And these are law enforcement officers. And again, one minute, one minute, one fucking minute after the, the cop, I think it was Robbins, couldn't see him in the car for sure, but drives past my house, a federal officer walks past me and says, it's just some local sheriff, it's not you. But it is me. I exist. I have to interact with people. And again, this all started because I opened my back door and the sellers didn't give me their PIN code. And then I called the security code people and they say, we can't, and I asked them for the PIN. I said, do you have an email I can send you proof of ownership for it to get the PIN? And they're like, we can't give you their information. It's my house. In, in, in the contract that's stapled to the wall is now my property. So it's no longer their PIN. But again, now we have some tech worker that, oh, no, security, obviously, he's, he's going to try to steal their stuff. It's my house. I asked to show you proof of ownership. I didn't ask you for the PIN randomly. But finally got that figured out, but one minute after a federal agent, after local fucking fat hillbilly cops drive past my house and harass me again, because they're gonna exert any authority over me, and now I'm, now I'm just a young homeowner that's being arrogant and disrespectful to my elders. And, and, and I am teaching your fucking kids. They go to school, they steal from me, and then they lie about it. And then your worthless fucking law enforcement officers harass me. It's never gonna stop, it's just never gonna fucking stop. But one minute after you walked by, by Federal agent walks past me and says, it's just some local sheriff, it's not you. But I exist and I have to interact with people. And incorrect, I exist, federal agents, it's your fault. The only reason I have to deal with any of these fucks, I'm not in a nice estate without any of this bullshit happening from six fucking years ago, done on your desk, is because you will not enforce the fucking law. And I turn on the TV and I talk about rights and constitution and stuff. I don't live in privileged world. I live in the real fucking world where a bunch of entitled, selfish, incompetent, bigoted trash have every race, religion, gender, everything. The minute they get offended, they're going to assert any authority over you they can, as everybody I've ever interacted with has done, and then disrespect you and walk the fuck away and say, not my fucking problem, and have their gang members call you back. So Chief Gilbert, whoever, Robbins, Severance, L6 Christian, and Demon Jews are all fucked. Again, I'm going to make your lives as impossible as mine has been. And I'm surviving. I'm getting this shit done every single fucking day. And all you fucking people did is just get privileged. You just fit into, you just fit into speciality. You're allowed to participate, among, uh, participate amongst the species because I can't even eat my fucking breakfast. So I continue to be profoundly and extensively tortured. There is nothing I can do. There is nowhere I can go. And there is no one I can call. $10 million for the first one that gives me a time frame. So I can fucking feel like a human being that's allowed to participate with other human beings. Which will be never. I, mean, I fully expect to fucking lose my life for no other reason besides old age. And, and because people will never do that. We won't stop blowing up our buildings. We won't legalize cannabis as good medicine. We won't accurately describe history. We won't accurately describe anything that's been proven. Because we can't accept it because it offends our group. Which is the entire species. And so die in filthy fucking shame. If you are 12 years of age or older and unaware of my research to any capacity whatsoever, your legacy is shameful. In 10, 20, 30, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 years, nobody's going to remember anything about you but how you treated me. That is a fucking fact. Fuck you. Your legacy is fucking die in fucking filth. So, yep, that's, yep, and he says, I want my employees to be treated with dignity and respect. Yeah, again, it's just a level of privilege I can't interact with, and I've never lived there. So, Chief Gilbert, you guys are all fucked. Have a wonderful day. And if you want to keep harassing me, no problem at all. I, this is my entire life, and I just want to fuck as many dirty fucking Americans as I possibly fucking can. Alex Jones' defamation case seems to be going well. I think his lawyer sent the other lawyer the um, his entire cell phone contents of his data, which, again, as a, as a court judge... Again, court's about to figure out the facts, so I don't think in, in, in general law practice should you ever hide evidence. You shouldn't do dumb shit, and you should figure out what the fuck happened. But yet, the, when, when I call the Clinton Township, they're like, have your lawyer contact us. Oh, yeah, the lawyer that accidentally sends all of the data to the other team? That guy? Should I call that guy? All of these great law, all these great lawyers that go to uh, undergraduate degree for four years, and they go to summer training camp for two years, and now they can practice law, and I've been deriving logical derivation my entire life. I should call one of those people? and pay them to form the shittiest argument ever, they're gonna have to write words in order to make logic, yeah, I can do that. I can do all of that, and I know all of the history and all of the law. No, I don't know all of the statute, but I can, it's, it's, neither does every lawyer, right? Uh, Mike Colombo in Columbus, Ohio practices getting hit by a truck, so they, they know certain statutes, and I am, know most, not most statutes, but I know fucking the history of law entirely. So, yeah, I'm gonna go call, call some fucking incompetent fuck. Tom DeLong is the reason for world governments have UFO task forces LOL squared. It's Tom DeLong. I think the, he's a drummer. I recognize the band Angels and Airwaves. I did like that one. They had a hit song. I don't know. Probably. Shit. I don't know. 2005, 2006. That I really liked. 
But Tom DeLong, I watched him on Steve-O Wild Ride podcast. Again, just more thieves stealing from me and talking about shit that I've done. But his book come out, came out like Tiny Machines or something in like 2016. But he talks about how he's, he had, you know, he had been briefed or got approached by different government agencies for figuring out this stuff. Again, and then he starts describing the physics. The world governments have had data and known data forever. And then, they, and then you listen to people talk about it and they say that explanation is clearly fucking nonsense. Conversely, I send them the correct explanation, the experimental method, and all of their fucking thoughts. It is what it is. And now, when we say, what's a UFO, you can't open your mouth without committing fucking treason. Or, or lying. To a substantial fucking level. So, the, the data, the, the, the governments have always known about the data, and uh, they know about the data a lot more now, but they've never heard of an explanation that doesn't sound like a fucking Looney Tune la la land. And I send them the fucking proofs. So, t Tom DeLong, the governments didn't, didn't uh, start task forces because because of your book. They started it because I sent them a fucking math subject, buddy. But again, this is what this is what beta male and female society does. They steal the, the evidence and the research, just like Jordan Peterson did when he discovered the difference between the Old and the New Testament after I proved it four years ago. But then they, they take the, the bits and pieces, they take it back to their group, and then they share the nuts amongst the group that the people that they like. Gives them it gives them the, the, they appear on a podcast, they feel like they have friends, they feel like they've contributed to their group. They went out into the woods and found the next berries. Now they're gonna come back all excited and tell the group what they did. And they're just stealing and lying. And people are so privileged to steal and lie and don't feel any responsibility for it. So no Tom DeLong. So let's say I'm a math subject. Mass shooting in Cincinnati leaves nine injured. OH! IO! OH! IO! OH! IO! But again, America, again, we always have to have some good classic mass shootings. Uh, we have a well, I'm just going in order, but we had another one. We have a, someone is hunting Muslims in Albuquerque. Albuquerque? Albuquerque? The fuck is Albuquerque? Oh, oh, Carl Quintanilla on CNBC. The federal agents aren't, aren't incompetent at their job. Pronounce FBI for me. Federal Bureau of Investigations? Bureau? Bureau? Got the dossiers in the Bureau? Fucking illiterate cunts. Objection! They're from the Bureau, what the fuck's that? Bureau, okay. The court. <laughs> Literate fucks. They are not in common at their job. They can't pronounce their own fucking organization. So. But yeah, hu hunting the Muslims, that's good. Yep, yep, they like to wear a, a little more fabric on their head to show some modesty, so let's go hunt them down. Yep, great, great values here in America. I'm not, I didn't really look at the Cincinnati one, probably gang related to just met someone. Mo what are we gonna do on a Saturday? Just mow people down because we fucking hate ourselves. That's always, that's always the explanation. And uh, Americans are worthless. And human beings are fucking worthless, let's be fucking honest. Um, U.S. Representative Jackie Waller Orski. Walorski. That's gotta be Polish. Walorski. Walorski. And two staffers killed in car crash. Again, this is precisely exactly. I drive a car every single day, and I do not want to drive a car every single day. I can't control your stupid fucking kids in any capacity whatsoever. If one of your dumb daughters is flicking her pussy trying to send some nudes and swerves over the double yellow and kills me, sign stops for 100,000 years. But do we care about anything in America or anything in human beings? Absolutely fucking not. We love to support terrorism by, by, by again, 9-11. We just, we, just, we just put the things into motion and say, well, we don't, our economy's not going well, so kill some people and hope that does something, and it definitely won't, but... That's just kind of what we do, and we, we absolutely fundamentally restrict scientific education. Again, every, every single person combing through one of my videos right now, fuck you and fuck your families, you dirty fucking thieves. Think about that. You guys literally can't teach your kids, and you also can't change, so you destroy my life, steal my property, and then tell your kids to go be good people and have careers. And you guys all just die in shame. Fucking trash. But again, I do not want to drive a car, and it endangers my life every single day. And if I'm alive to see this world fucking change, it is every case, every charge, every person, fuck you. Biden wants 71,000 new IRS agents. Again, I'm not anti-tax in any way. I'm fuck the IRS just because, again, it's another group. It's another gang. They're going to serve any authority over you they can. Some person that makes 70000 to $120,000 a year. Oh, that guy makes $10 million. Oh, did he pay his fair share of taxes? Oh, let's get that guy. Oh, a billion dollars. Oh, let's get that guy. Ha, 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 gotcha. Ha, 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 gotcha. Ha, 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 gotcha. And then mass shootings every two minutes, and everyone's fat as fuck and lazy and pathetic as fuck and can't even hear criticism. That's the fucking most funny shit ever is when I call this Caitlyn chick. It's true. All I'm doing is stating crude facts about people, and it's not polite and respectful. I don't live there. I've never lived in polite society not one minute in one day. And every single time I've interacted with another person in the past 10 years, I get scapegoated to the point where it endangers my life for real. 
So, yep, you want decency and respect. Yep, same. Fucking same. Formality and customer service calls. Again, we'll talk about more about Spectrum. But when I call, I think I think this is no, this is Best Buy Total Tech, which we have talked about. And now I'm getting a daily phone call telling me to reschedule my appointment that I already did reschedule, and they just they did they just like never closed out the ticket or the order or something. You know, I get an automated phone call. Please call back Best Buy to reschedule. Your dedicated support team is right there waiting to help you with the most pressing issues of our time. I'm just like, Brad, I own TV, TV, put it on wall, when can you do that? I don't need, and who do I have a one, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? My, my name's Brad, you don't need to, you don't need to roll out the red carpet to get a TV fucking mounted. My name's Brad, TV, wall, mount, how much money, what time, what day, thanks. And you have a wonderful day on Spectrum Protocol. But yeah, so I've got my TVs mounted and I'm getting an automated phone call because total tech is total shit. But Cordell from Spectrum gets offended. Sir, I didn't say that. I'm gonna put up a video from my phone. I'll put it, I'll put it, I'll put it right here. Here comes a video of my, my Spectrum problem. I can't change channels when I click down. I'm gonna put the video here now. All right, we're gonna try to reattempt Spectrum. So again, I've hard restopped the Xbox. I've uninstalled the app. I uninstalled the app, then hard stopped, re reset the Xbox. I've, done, I've, done, this, I've had this problem for probably two months. And so we're going to see if we can get Spectrum to be able to change the channel to recently viewed channel. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Does anything work? Absolutely no. <laughs> no. Fox. <laughs> I've already uninstalled and reinstalled the, the app, not this time, but previously several times. So we're going to click on the Spectrum app. Oh, we got the internet now. Sweet. Awesome. We're loading up. And now I'm going to, again, for... I can click down on the D-pad right now. It doesn't. No problem. No problem. Right when it loads up, no problem. No problem at all. Woo! Look at this. Look at this. Woo! You can change channels. Look at us, Spectrum. Oh, look at that. We got new channels. Let's click one. What is this? America uh, Talent? We got something on PBS. I, I do like the animal shows on PBS. I watched those yesterday. Works fine. Bam. No problem. No interruptions. Nothing. Let's go to right on the D-pad. Works fine. Let's go to the lead with Jake Tapper. Fuck this guy. Well, uh, liars and thieves. What well, we have here, to and to your left, we have liars and thieves that can't feed their own kids, stealing from me. And now I go to the right again. The guide works fine. Let's go to the other one. Around the horn. Sports. And to your left, we have liars and thieves. So no problem. Going to the right. I gotta scroll all the channels. Let's go back to CNBC for some finance. And then to your left, we have more liars and thieves. What's up, Karen? Oh, that's not Karen. Julia. And Courtney. I'm pretty late. Now let's try to change the channel down. Oh, we got Guy Adami and uh, Bonda Wynn. Now let's go. Let's try to go reasonably view channel. Oh! Uh, what? How? The, oh, oh, oh. What's up? Uh oh. We got local news. What do we got? Uh-oh. Oh, it's going to take 30 minutes to load the next channel. Oh, Dave Mazza. What's up, Dave Mazza? Oh, a lot of rain. A lot of rain. i try to change the channel again. Oh, 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 restarted. Oh, bummer. Shucks. Every single time I try to change the channel for the past two months. So, sorry Cordell at Spectrum for getting offended. I pay for 60 channels a month and i can't go to recently viewed channels so yeah awesome thank you spectrum thumbs up great great service i just wanted to get this two months like this <laughs> so i call cordell and i try to explain to him the problem and he's like you know we have we have never had we can't duplicate this problem it has never happened before and he's and then he tells me he's going to synchronize my app i'm like so, doesn't explain anything more and I'm uploading a YouTube video, right? Like, right, it's like a 98%, 99%. And he's like, you're, and then right after he says that, I said, okay, go for it. And he's like, like 20 seconds, 30 seconds later, he's like, your internet's going to restart. And I was like, whoa, whoa, you didn't, you didn't tell me that. And it's like, I'm uploading a YouTube video and the, being able to change a channel takes 10 seconds. Uploading a YouTube video takes an hour or two. So it's like, you probably should say, hey, your internet's going to restart. Would you like to do this? Not just say, we're going to synchronize your app. 
right? Rhythm synchronizes, synchronicity, speciality, sensorality. Oh, yeah. And then I hear people use proper words in proper context, but again, I get disrespected. And so I'm just like, again, not raising my voice. This is my natural speaking tone. I have to, I have to use words to communicate. And so I like, like, I was like, again, not like mad, but like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't tell me you're going to restart the internet. They start getting mad at me again. Sir, I didn't say that. And it gets all offended. I can viscerally perceive how fucking offended he is over the phone. I was trying to assist you. You didn't tell me what you were going to do. And you're a worthless fucking IT dude. I'm pretty good with technology. I have like infinite PhDs. I know how to troubleshoot shit. I know how to unload apps, reinstall apps, restart things. I was born on, I was, again, I got my first cell phone like sixth, probably seventh grade. But born on tech. I've been here for the whole thing. And so, you can't, you literally can't speak to another human being without them getting offended because of just normal shit that they don't explain. Again, I'm the most competent person out there. And then they don't know how to do anything. They don't explain anything properly. And I'm not mad. It's like I'm not raising my voice. He gets offended. And he's going to assert any authority over me. He can Sir, I didn't say that. Sir, I was trying to assist you. And again, I can I guarantee you Cordell some fat black dude that's in IT. And he's just never been disrespected before. And he can't hear. He can't hear. And again, I'm not mad. This is my normal speaking tone. Again, once again, I apologize for educating myself, learning to train to sing. And then I have to deal with people who can't pronounce words to any capacity whatsoever because they're apes. And then... And then, 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 then fuck Brad. And I just, I just want shit to work. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm still rolling in a couple more talking points and stores. Um, the more money you make, the less likely you are to get to divorce. Up to making $250,000 a year, then it levels off about 25% of people get divorced. I saw that on the SauceCast, Valuetainment Money section with Adam Sosnick. He talks about relationships and finance intermingling because he was he found he found girls out when he was in the mid-teens he didn't play video games they went clubbing for the next 30 years oh get him at him oh the beat's about to drop right am i doing it right i hate house music i can't fucking stand it and so it's not himself music it just it, I, I don't i don't want to be elitist in music in any capacity but it just it's just fucking monkeys clicking buttons with weird with no real instruments. But why does that happen? Again, just stability. People, oh, they, oh, they, they see this, that, that the girl that caught their eye, and then guess what? They think about all the future they're going to have, and then guess what? You have to pay your bills. And so when people can't pay their bills, they don't do shit, and it's like, well, well, why don't you do something more, Bill? Why don't Bill Kosinski, uh, Sergeant, uh, Sergeant Chief Gilbert, if Mrs. Gilbert's not too happy, well, well, Chief, why don't you go strive for a better life? Oh, well, I have my cop buddies, and we're just, and his voicemail, I left him another voicemail yesterday morning, literally saying, I don't want to call back, I just want you guys to email me any public record on any shooting your department's had, and anything on these, the officers that I've interacted with. And I apologize to Caitlin, not really apologizing, but I just have to be cordial until I can actually fuck them lately. Which, again, yeah, the, instant, the instant I have access to court is involved with everybody. Every single person I've referenced in this shit. But, well, what was I saying? Oh, but making money again, people still have to pay their bills, and it's just a practical realization of the, the honeymoon stage of a relationship versus the reality of living life. Everybody wants to have sex and a partner, but you still have to pay your bills, and once if you're on a different maturity level, and in, in it, in it affects your finances, being able to pay for your kids, having leisure time, and you're going to get some tension. So that's why. To $250,000 a year, you're pretty much going to be pretty, pretty comfortable. And so 25% is still, then that's when money doesn't matter at all. It's not about living your life. It's just maturity in general. Well, I think it's all maturity, but financial is just a stressor which would elicit the, um, the, the immaturity or the incompatibility faster. Well, 100% certain that's why that happens. North Carolina will put an AR-15 in every classroom. Again, I don't, uh, again, if you, people know how to shoot, again, the, the, the thing from the right is every teacher needs to be armed. The thing from the left is, oh my gosh, the teachers, they're so stressed with kids, now give them a gun. Once again, if you're, if you're a human being, you have to defend yourself. That's not a teacher or a Republican or a Democrat. That's an ape on a rock. You have to be prepared to defend yourself. So most, everyone should be trained with basic arms training, basic first aid training. Again, even EMT shit more than even arms, right? People would fall down and cut themselves and have, you need stitches or something. So again, I'm a huge proponent for basic EMT skills taught at every level of school. Because again, someone falls and bonks their head and bleeding out, you maybe know how to apply a tourniquet or stitch somebody up or you know, just basic health protocols, which I personally, I don't know. So it's like, again, do we do anything in society that actually makes sense? No. We create ideals and then we just fail to chase them and we're so privileged we say the next generation, oh, 
back in my day, oh, I had it so much harder. And it's like there's, there's, I have literally the most profound psychological stress you could ever go through. Complete isolation from a society level, and everybody's aware of it, and I can't turn on TV without people doing so demonstrating it and going back home to the kid and saying, be good people, do your homework, steal from Brad and lie, and nobody cares. So AR-15s in every classroom, very neutral, depends on the training of the people. French astronomer says the James Webb Space Telescope captured chorizo? Chorizo? Huh. So again, we have our wonderfully competent scientists out there. This is a French, this is a French post. And, and yet, it was a beautiful picture captured by James Webb Space Telescope, which I 100 agree with the sentiment on Reddit that just like, or maybe even Ben Shapiro, unfortunately, but just like nicer wallpaper. Because all, so we increased the resolution, now we can have this picture instead of that picture, and we've all seen them, I'm not gonna put them up. But yep, I wanna give you direct empirical evidence of how to contact aliens directly, well, we, we all, we can, we can snuff that out at the global level while facilitating war. Which is truly, again, so truly fucking impressive that Russia and Ukraine can both steal from me. We can all organize a steal from Brad, but we don't stop shooting each other. Less monkeys I have to fucking teach. Good fucking riddance, die off. Everybody. Just fucking good fucking riddance. But, yep, our wonderfully competent science team, again, that tweet, oh, academia is doing great, yep, you have an astronomer. Is tweeting out James Webb space chorizo. Just fucking killing it, guys. I now have five, this will be my 503rd YouTube video. 503rd, 43 subs. Fully expect to drop down to the 30s before I get to the 50s. But again, it, it just work. It's slavery. It's slavery to the point. But as this again, zero percent bragging. When I say the thousand, I keep going, I don't get mentally tired. Like I don't get tired of doing this. I have to do something today. And it's zero percent difficulty for me to sit down and speak. And so, but I'm still a human being. So it's like the emotion of putting yourself out into the world and the answer is no at every point you interact with anybody. Call Spectrum, call Total Tech, call, live in my own house and open the door at the wrong time. Uh, at my apartment, ask, have, get locked, lose my keys when I get, have to sprint home because it's raining out so I know my headphones to get wet. Walk around my apartment at the wrong time, and if someone pulls up, what are you doing? Get me the fuck out of this third world fucking country. You guys gotta be busy planning another 9-11, so just let me leave. You know, I don't care fuck if you murder me. I don't care. I don't, this is, I've never lived a day of my life. I have never lived a day of my life, because I was born too mature around people who don't have to change. Oh, but it feels disgusting. It's, it's really just more at this point, it's how much content I can really put out there until something blows up. And, and, and I quote, everybody knows, apparently not, when I call the Vivian, the, the security system I have, and talk to some dude, he's from Colombia. I just like to, literally just like to guess where people are from based on the phonetics of their words. It just, that's, that's, that's linguistics to me in the most basic form. <laughs> but, uh... I literally was asking, I was like, do you know who I am at all? And then I never, really, like, the random IT person, I doubt, even, even if they like, know of my research through the grapevine, they're not going to put it together, one, one, one plus one equals two on a phone for a service call. Maybe if they know my first and last name, but probably not. And again, I don't assume people know. I'm just so tired of dis being disrespected. It's like, who the fuck knows what's going on? Please help me. But nobody will. When you're more mature than people and you're outside of the group, people will not help you and they do not feel responsibility. They'll come up to the edge, uh, edge of the gate, and look at Harambe, the, 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 the gorilla, and we dump our, we accidentally drop our kid in the thing. Well, we're gonna kill Harambe because, well, well, we can't do our job, so we'll kill that thing. Ugh. We're all safe, though. We're all happy. We're struggling to pay our bills, but we feel good. We can, we can move forward in society. So, whoa, I don't have a responsibility for that. Whoa, that's that's everybody I've ever met. Everybody, 100% of all people. And so it's really just how much content can I put out there? Uh, again, I wanted 500 YouTube videos by the end of the year. It's now August 6th, I believe, and this will be 503. So crushing my personal goals this year, but my personal goal this year was to feel safe enough to eat food, which has been my personal goal for the past 10 years since people took it away from me. And so I really have accomplished nothing. Furnished home tour. I'll throw up, I'll throw, I'll throw up the, the Spectrum video at, when I was talking about it, and then at the end of this video, I'll just give you a quick furnished tour, because like I said, I've mostly furnished what I'm gonna do with the house. Had another wonderful, well, just one more talking point, then a final story. Asian shopkeeper stabs armed robber, robber to death. And not to death, I don't think he died. But it was popular, it was all over Twitter, Reddit, probably on the news as well. But somebody comes in, it's an Asian dude, I don't know, younger, mid 20s to mid 30s, somewhere about my age. Um, but the dude comes in, comes behind the counter, and the dude instantly jumps into action, starts stabbing, hits him in like the, the leg. 
hits him in the neck, you hear the guy screaming, I'm dying, I'm dead, I'm dead. But it's, it's, it's again, I can't imagine being a, being a robber. And, I, and it, to be specific, I put armed in quotations. I don't see, I don't know if in the video, I can't see if they're showing a weapon, and I don't really look into the story. But I just wanted to react to the reaction of the, the, of the incident. And so, Reddit comments doing an ask me anything. And so I, I don't, I think, I think it was that guy, but it was just, it was on Reddit somewhere, it might not have been an ask me anything. But again, the top Reddit, Reddit, again, I've been banned, I don't, I don't post on Reddit anymore, I, I, I scroll it, but I don't even have an account, because I, I got banned from, again, I got banned from the movies section of Reddit for posting my Belfast review, which is like a borderline historical fiction documentary thing, and I gave it a good review, and I got banned. The yeah, so you offend a Reddit moderator, they're going to ban you, because that's their, that's their authority, they can serve over you. So the top comments, like, in, like defending, defending the fucking robber. It's like if you have any any sentiment of being relishing at the loss of life, it's like you have you have to know what the fuck you signed up for. If you're a shopkeeper and someone comes to rob you, you have no idea what they have on you. You are your place of business, and someone's coming into you. They could have a gun. They could have a knife. It, it is full fair game to defend every bit of your fucking property. Every fucking fair bit. But the pathetic crowd is like. Oh well, you should have had you should have had twenty twenty vision before it happened, and you should never stab somebody because that's bad. It's like you, you just it's just a level of privilege. People do not have to deal with real fucking life, and they spew out their shitty fucking values because they, they don't have any values. There are no values in this society. Do not say there are. That is a lie and a historical fact. In the same way, Alex Jones is getting fucked and gets ordered to pay forty five million to Sandy Hook families. Stop lying about history. There are no values in this fucking species. There is privilege, entitlement, and competence, and people that say, well, well, don't talk about me like that. Don't speak bad about me. Now, all those baby booners getting, getting older, they want to be talked about well in their older age, but they didn't live a good life. They just fucking did it. They were whores, they tried to pay their bills, and they played games their entire lives. So, great. I hope you enjoyed your life. I hope you enjoyed your privilege. For real. For real. I don't get to live my life because the older generations can't be eight. My generation can't be eight, and the younger generations can't be eight. They just can't. And so it was just, it was just a, astonishing to see again a dude sitting there ready, ready to sell you some uh, a, a, your next jewel pod or a, a case of beer. Three dudes coming to rob him, and the general sentiment of red is like, "Oh my gosh, you should never talk bad about people losing their life." It's like you, the robbers know when they go into a place, they are doing fucking dumb shit. I, I've never stolen shit, but I've been a criminal. You, you have to know what you're signing up for, good, bad, or neutral. And so just astonishing, privilege at every level whatsoever. So we'll finish it up with a story about that. So I'm playing Halo Infinite. Honest feedback on Halo Infinite, kind of stuck on the campaign. I'm doing on Heroic, and I'm not a great, I typically do not the normal, but I do like one higher end, or do like the legendary, the hardest mode. But I'll probably drop it back down to normal, pretty stuck. Give it a couple more goes. When I went online, I genuinely thought, I played on Xbox, I genuinely thought it was strange. They, they moved the mechanic of Halo in, all the other previous Halo games, it's been like L3, I believe, or B to Melee, and now it's like, I think it's R3 now, and it used to be B to Melee, but I do like, I like the sliding, so I, I didn't like that they changed the melee button, I saw no need to do that. Um, if you played previous Halo games, it throws you for the first, get used to the mechanics. But I like the slide, you can slide in Halo Infinite, which is good for first person shooters. Like like the online, like Tactical Slayer, like going for the headshots. Um, I'm kind of stuck on the, the campaign. So I'm playing Tactical Slayer the other day, and again, I think it was the end of the game where just just got one of the other dudes started teabagging him. If you've ever played Halo, you know that the, the fundamental mechanic of playing Halo is you get to teabag the ops. Once you murk the op, once you clip them, once you catch the body, you get a teabag. That, that is that is foundational mechanics of playing the game of Halo. And so obviously I'm pumping long strokes on this guy who's got. <laughs> and I think we won the game, but I was like, I don't know, 8 and 13. I don't know, again, they don't keep track stats for Halo Infinite, but I would guess my, my KD, KD is over 1, or right around 1 or over 1. I have some really good games, and then my really bad games are typically like, you know, 60% K, KD, maybe 1, 50% really bad one. <laughs> but just pumping long strokes on this dude, as, as you should in the game of Halo. <laughs> and then I get this message from Touch My Face, and this is ch Xbox, that was his Xbox Gamer Tag, and this is chat number 9433. And I wanted to get her, I didn't, I should have written it down, but our whole conversation went something to the effect of, he messaged me first, you know, you were 8 and 13, you're way too trash to be teabagging. And I just, I forget what I said, but something back, I was just like, go kill yourself. Like, KYS, I'm like, kill yourself, 
like LOL and it's like this is foundation this is how you play Halo KYS easy ban easy report yeah I've told people to kill themselves a lot on the internet I've not been banned from anything and if Halo wants to ban me one less player I don't really give a shit go play a different fucking game but again first and foremost you should be able to talk to people like you talk to them in real life and not kill yourself like I'm gonna come in and actively harass you and actually end your life but you're so pathetic go fucking end your life it's a common response to patheticness it is and it's every go log on a game, every 13, 14, 15 year old saying, kill yourself. So it's how people actually react. And then I, I say that, he's like, easy report, easy ban. So I was like, okay, let's play, let's play one-on-one for 10K. And he's like, you know, he says LOL or something, but I'm not kidding. Like, I'll, I'll go one-on-one for 10 stacks. Why the fuck not? And so, and so he's like, no. And he's like, and I asked him, like, what do you do? He's like, I work in IT. Again, another one of these pathetic fucks. I think there's a, they're in math or in science, or in computer science, and he's like, and I made some comment, I was like, go, go, go back in your mom's basement and work on paying off your student loans. He's like, well, I already paid off my student loans. Well, sorry you touched my face, I retired when I was 24, and I've never had fucking human rights before, buddy. So, oh, you paid off your student loans, but wait a second, did he go to school recently? In the past six, seven years and get a technical degree? So he stole from me. And now he's gonna be so pathetic, he's gonna harass me on Xbox. So touch my face. Xbox username, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do as much as I can to help your career go <laughs> and, and then and then he was like, he's, he made a comment like, um, you know, you should be in school with how your spelling is. And again, this is Xbox. Like I'm just typing in as fast as I can to get a get a message off while I'm playing a fucking game. I don't I don't have a, like a text pad. You can buy like pads, like a like a text screen for like when you plug in your headphones and you can have like a full keyboard. I just have my Xbox and I have to scroll over to each letter. So he's like you should probably learn to spell better. So I start ripping off another languages on him. And he's like, why are you still bothering me? Well, you, then I said, you messaged me first, no? And then I said, have a nice day. And that's where our conversation ended. Again, each and every single one of these people, every, and this is, this is in the past week. Each of these lectures, there's a fucking another week of just every time they interact with people, normal shit happens, they get offended, they get disrespectful, they don't think they're being disrespectful, I'd be slightly disrespectful back, and the entire insecurity of the group just gangs up on me and says, fuck Brad. And then they run away like fucking pussies. Whether you're Chief Gilbert, whether you're Touch My Face, whether you're Cordell from Spectrum, or whether you're Tom DeLong or Alex Jones, it is all the same behavior. This is Lecture 137, Catholic Conversation 60, of just the legal lecture series. The math is already out there. Right, we all, I think we know enough about fundamental physics, totally agree, but you guys have to like publish it. You actually have to stop killing each other and actually educate your kids to stop just being liars and thieves, which will never occur. So, again, I have my Ozark review done, that will be up tomorrow. So thank you for watching, and if you want to keep watching, I'll do a quick, quick uh, uh, furnished home tour, and it'll be a minute or two long, so go watch that. If not, thank you for watching Language Litigation and Integration Part 137, Casual Conversation 60. See you next time. So as you can see, this is my office area, got my whiteboard, some artwork that I'm going to actually put up finally, a printer, and my recording equipment. Into the dining room, and again, this is what I'm telling you, from that door to that desk is where I had to go to get these cops to stop harassing me in less than three minutes, and then they were disrespectful after. It was, it was this far, it's literally, literally this far, maybe ten steps. Dining room table, a nice dining room table, shout out to Ashley Furniture on delivery, got a nice little ding, appreciate that. Don't really give a fuck. It works. Works well enough for me. So up here at kitchen, I've already seen this. Bush lights, shout out to the beer. Sorry, sorry, Sergeant, Sergeant Robbins for drinking beers in my house. And then we got my table. Got my area rug yesterday. Matches my my couch a little better. Much my, my sheets not so much. Again, I guess I guess not fully furnished. This is getting mounted. I got a 55-inch Samsung getting mounted on Thursday. Nothing new here. Uh-oh, got some more stuff. Uh-oh. Shout out to uh, the American Freight Delivery people. I need some nice ding on my wall. Needed that. New house. Fuck my shit up. I, I feel that. I put respect on that. I don't give a fuck. It's some plaster and paint. Not a big deal. Bedroom. Here's my bedroom stuff. The I like my bedroom stuff. That's about it in here. But the, you might not be able to tell, but the sheets don't really match the headboard. I thought they did at the store, but they don't really. But I tried. Tried my best. And here we got a groovy chocolate couch, which I like the couches, all my furniture, I like my furniture. Got a 65 incher getting mounted up there. The, uh, also the American Freight, uh, yep, they dinged up the couch a little bit, appreciate that. Does it work? Yep, do I give a fuck? Nope. Old furniture in here, another living space. 
This will be my gaming area. This will be mainly my TV area. In here, this room kind of smells kind of like shit. I probably had a dog or something, so I'll probably do a deep clean in here. Still have no idea what I'm gonna do with this room, if anything. It kind of smells like shit, though. So, nothing right now. And finally, old furniture in the guest room. Turn down the bed, ready for the friends I don't have. So, so that's my house. Thanks for watching.